Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's the third war of season 26, and looks like we're going up against an alliance called Dark Guardians. And I'm going to take you along with me on my first initial scouting of my path, and we'll see what their defense looks like. This time, I did not wait until later. I'm currently grinding for a five-star champion, so I want to get this out of the way as quickly as I can. All right, no defender on the first node, which is pretty common. Then we've got Red Hulk. Not a problem uh, for anyone that I have. He has aggression armor. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. Then we've got Domino. So I normally bring Warlock, and Warlock can handle this Domino unless I mess up royally. Uh, so if I'm needed uh, to take that domino, I can do that with Warlock. Uh, for Red Hulk, I can generally do that with uh, Nick Fury. All right, and then down here, we've got Sasquatch. I'm probably not gonna be the one to take Sasquatch. Usually uh, someone with Human Torch will take uh, Sasquatch. Then we've got Nova. I hate fighting Nova. Uh, possibly, uh, if needed, uh, I would be able to take him, but on that mix master node, we have someone who is a mix master master. So that's the one who normally just brings in a counter for that node and they can handle it. Cause if you know how to fight mix master and you're good and consistent with it, you can really bring in any champion. But if you have someone that has like true strike or something like that, uh, it'll go a lot easier for you. I don't know who he chooses. All right, here we've got Immortal Hulk on that EMP modification. Uh, Nick Fury can do that fight uh, if need be. Uh, then we've got our favorite. We've got Colossus on uh, this node here, Black Widow Clairvoyant all day. Uh, we've got uh, Venom here, and that's again Black Widow Clairvoyant or... Nick Fury can also do that. And then we've got as the mini here, um, got that power rate, buffet, and then of course it's Spider-Gwen who likes to evade quite often. So ideally you'll bring in somebody that can stop that evade um, as well as deal with the buffet. Now I could probably do this with Warlock. And what I would do if I have to fight this is never finish my combo. Just parry, do like two and three hit combos. It's it's annoying, but that's what I would do. Get those infections on him early, or get infections on her early, and then just keep doing the two, three hit combos. Make sure I keep the infections up. Easier said than done sometimes. All right, and here we got Mini Boss Island. Again, we've got that Sasquatch. Again, it's usually someone with Human Torch that'll bring it. Um, if they're on backup, they will normally bring counters for those on the right-hand side and then just sweep all the way through and take the boss. I might be called upon to take uh, one of the minis off to the left. I've taken Nick Fury on that node before with Black Widow Clairvoyant and with Nick Fury. Uh, and then we've got Mangog. I have not fought him on that node. Ideally, you want to have someone that does some power control uh, to handle that node, but a lot of times I end up fighting this node with either Warlock or Nick Fury. So we'll see. And this uh, Iron Man Infinity War, I don't really have a great option for him, especially on that node. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Someone may bring in a, a better counter. Uh, if not, then I might end up having to fight this one as well. Probably would go in with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, if I had to um, bring in a counter for this one. All right, so we'll be back uh, with the fighting and my comments. So be right back. All right, we're back and we're about to get the fighting started. So going in with my standard team, Nick Fury, Warlock, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, didn't see anyone that made me change my mind after I did my initial scouting. All right, so no defender on this first node, which is common. And I usually try not to be the first one over there 
for this reason. So what that represented was a recording segment that I probably could have skipped, but it means that I have to edit that one as well. Um, and I like to do it just for continuity so you can see me moving as well as the fights also. Um, but that's why I tried to wait until I have max energy and I'm not the first one so I can do as many fights on one recording. All right, so the first fight is against Red Hulk. Not a problem. We're going up against him with Nick Fury. Nick Fury can rip him apart. Uh, if you've ever fought red hulk in labyrinth of legends this red hulk is not going to impress you and you're not going to be too worried about fighting him all right bait out his special ones his special two is also easy to evade um but i do like to bait out his special ones when i can even though that does ramp him up a little bit just don't get hit all right so red hulk is down and of course I'm probably going to be taking that domino. In fact, I am going to take that domino. When I first got Warlock, all I thought about was how good he was against Domino. Me and Domino have a long history in war. If you've been watching my war videos for a while, you know how much I hate Domino. And I was looking for her. I was hoping they placed her so that I could get a rematch um, with one fight that I was pretty sure I knew how to do um, because I didn't know how to uh, fight Domino at that time. I didn't know how to intercept. I didn't know how to, you know, did you see that? I just stopped blocking. Don't ask me why. All right. Stuff happens, but he just stopped blocking suddenly. Uh, either that or she broke the block. All right. So here we go. And... I want to get her down fast because she's ramping up those furies and even getting hit into my block will do a lot of damage. So I ramped it up a little bit, got to the special two, um, fired that one off, even though I would take recoil damage and finished her off as fast as I could. I uh, didn't want any other shenanigans happening uh, when fighting her. All right. So on to section two. The middle is clear. However, as you can see, the section two is not open yet. There's, a, there's an immortal Hulk in our way. He is guarding section two. Uh, this node is EMP modification with, of course, the enhanced energy, so it really hurts. And this is immortal Hulk. I still don't know how he works completely. I've never really looked into his abilities. So all I know is that he will go immortal, I guess, a cheat death. Uh, sometimes I can avoid it. Someone told me once, uh, it depends on how many charges he has uh, when you know he gets that final blow, uh, whether he does that or not. Uh, so what I usually do is I just try to bleed him out that, that's about it bait out the specials bleed him out it's really dicey baiting out specials however um because of the emp modification so you see i did a dex that popped up a buff and when he fired his special that's why i have that shock on me and you can see the damage that shock is doing and it's a long shot okay uh and you can just see it just stacked again every time i dex because I don't have the dexterity mastery turned off, I get that buff, and so I get the uh, shocks on me every time he fires a special. All right, but you can see here, I was just letting the bleeds do most of the work, and we got him down. The shock, while nasty, wasn't doing as much damage as it could have, because they do stack, all right? Uh, so you don't want to keep dexing, 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 and then let them fire their special. You'll get a, a shock for everyone, and it will hurt. All right, so now we've got full energy again, and we're back in familiar territory. So I couldn't start Section 2 during that last run. Uh, so I had to wait, wait until my energy maxed out, 
And then I came back in. And of course, we're going to be fighting Colossus, who we fight on this node a lot. Um, Black Widow Clairvoyant is awesome. It's not a bad placement for Colossus. It's just that I have what I consider like the perfect counter for this node and Colossus in particular. Okay. Uh, one time I went up against this Colossus without Black Widow Clairvoyant. I chose to go in with Corvus thinking, hey, I'll get myself a mutant charge. Well, I did get a mutant charge, but it was painful. Now, that was painful also. Just started getting hit. So I'm like, oh, no. We got to get that health back. All right. So we cycled to Curse of Blood. And you can see I got most of the health back that I just lost. Love Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right. Very sustainable. All right. And here we go again. Boom, boom, boom. And even though we got him to a special three, we finished him off with that final one. And you saw what her health bar looked like when she got done with that fight. So even though we got wrecked, she saves us glory and potions. So next fight is going to be Venom. Now, Venom, it really depends on the AI that you get with Venom. Uh, he can be really aggressive or he can be really passive. He can also have the AI that only wants to fire off a special two. All right. I advise, especially in war, just block the special two if you push him to it. All right. But as soon as he fired that one off, I said, okay, good. We have that AI. All right. So we shouldn't have too much problem. Yep. See, um, with him firing the specials, that AI is great. Here we go. Curse of Hellfire. Boom. And he's down just that easy. Didn't take any recoil damage because we finished him off with the special. All right, so no problems so far. So now I'm feeling myself here. And I can see that they're waiting for me to take that Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen can be very annoying because she now evades. For those of you who didn't remember her from before, she used to be a meme champion. But she got a rework. And now she's actually a pretty annoying defender. And you see her often in Alliance Wars. So I'm going to be boosting up. Because I don't want anything to mess me up. At this time, uh, I'm not sure how the war is going. But I think we're in the lead. Okay? At, at this point. Alright, so my plan here is, of course, to get the infections on because this is a buffet node. So I don't want to do anything until I get the infections. Now, we don't have to worry about the regen. But the evade, parry heavy. That's what you see me doing. And look at the bleed. Nice. And I do have deep wounds maxed out. So those bleeds last a long time. And I did that, parry, parry, just to make sure uh, that the infections don't uh, drop off. And just look at this. Perfect. Perfect counter. Parry heavy. She's done. Okay. Um, at first, I was thinking to do uh, something different, like a, a two-hit combo. But then I was like, you know what? Warlock has a vicious bleed, and she's not bleed immune. Just do that. All right. So that is the left side done. Now we get to mini boss island. And as you can see, uh, the left was taken but we got that mangog there we've got mole man on the right and black widow deadly origins so of course you know i stopped here so that i could get further instructions as to who uh they want me to take at this point uh and we planned it out and uh i was asked to take out that mangog so as you see they went ahead and took out uh, the right hand side there and they were like you know you want to try that mangog now at this point we know we've pretty much won we have a pretty sizable lead at this point uh so now is the time to play and then that happens so the only reason that i'm not more stressed at that point is because as i just said we were in a good lead all right so i'm just like wow 
this is going to be fun. You know, I'm already not sure how this fight is going to go. Uh, that node really needs strong power control. If we had a magic, that would have been who I would have suggested for that node. Or just somebody that can power lock. All right. Uh, so now I was like, all right, we crashed. But as you can see, we hadn't started the fight. So we're good. So those are the nodes we have to deal with. You see that enhanced special two? If you've ever gotten hit with Man God Special 2, you know it's pretty much game over, okay? So you don't want him uh, at his Special 2, but this is a power gain node. So it's really dicey trying to fight him without a power control champion. Now, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, has some power control when she's in Curse of Plague on her Special 2. So you can slow play it, bait out the special ones, fire off the special two, and just keep recycling that one. That's the plan, okay? So I am boosting up because I take the fights uh, seriously here. See, I gave her even a nice little uh, mystic uh, boost. And time out. Instantly. How do you like that for glitching? First it crashed on me. Then I go in here, and it's an instant timeout. Nobody hit nobody. Isn't that wonderful? I love Alliance War. It's so much fun. Anyway, see here? I went to it. Nothing. I'm like, okay. So I went to it again. Okay, now. And I'm like, this does not bode well for this fight. This doesn't bode well for this fight at all. But I didn't lose any health. So I don't know what was going on there. All right, so finally we're into the fight. And I actually finished a combo because I wanted to switch into Curse of Play. And you can see here I was doing four hit combo. I didn't want to finish the combo to generate more hatred. Baited out a special one, okay? And you can see I'm not doing full five hit combos. Okay, just hitting him, slow playing it. Now we need to bait it out. Now he's unstoppable. Now, I'm confused. Why did he go unstoppable, and how do I stop it? Because, look at it, he's unstoppable. I'm like, what am I supposed to do at this point? I don't know. I'm in the corner. Finally, he hit me, and now he went unstop. You know, he's not unstoppable anymore. So I'm like, what just went on there? I don't know, Mangog, okay? So leave a comment and let me know what happened, why he went unstoppable, and how to stop the unstoppable. All right, so here we're back at it again. And we're still trying to slow play it here, all right? But you see that power gain? Now he's at a special two. And we weren't able to bait the special one. And you already saw the note for special two, right? Lights out. That's it. Special two, you're done, son. And so I'm just like, okay, well, that was pretty much how I was thinking it would happen. Uh, Black Widow's um, power control just wasn't enough for uh, that fight. All right, so now at this point, you know, I told everybody what happened and I was like, you know, it's not going to go well if you try that Claire, uh, but my alliance mate did and the same thing that happened to me happened to him with his Claire. He baited out a couple special ones, but eventually special two happened and he got wrecked. All right, so now I'm in here and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to get that Nick Fury all up on him, but I forgot he's immune to bleed i'm like oh i don't believe i just did this i just did this i'm just like all right well whatever all right here we go he's unstoppable again and so i like parried hoping that it stopped it you know parry hit him nothing nothing's getting rid of that unstoppable i'm just like okay so i'm just tap tapping him i'm in the corner okay trying to evade nope he's still unstoppable tap hit him nope He's just wrecking me. He's still unstoppable. I tried to do an intercept. Maybe that would stop it. Nope. Still unstoppable. He intercepted me. So I'm like, okay, this is enough. I am not going down like that. So I fired off that special three in self-defense, and we got him down. That was ugly, but we did finish him. All right, so that is it for the fighting for me. Uh, the boss fight, I didn't have to um, go in on the boss or anything like that. So we'll be back in a little bit and you'll find out how this war ended.
And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Hopefully we can keep on winning. We're on a win streak of one. I don't think that counts as a win streak. But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Don't forget to hit that like button because it really does help me out. Take care and you all have a blessed day.